Good morning, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the Longevity products, business, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about, read about, our Truth Skin Health products, which are all available at truthtreatments.com, by the way. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. We want to hear from you. If you have a success story, how health, how uh, the health ideas we talk about in this program, how nutritional supplementation has helped you or a loved one, we want to hear your success story, 844-236-6010, or, of course, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, please call 866-735-2470 or head to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also Sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business. You can be in business for yourself. You can be an entrepreneur, make your own hours, be your own boss, write off all your tax, uh, write off all your, uh, uh, write off your home office, your business expenses, your mileage. It's just a great opportunity, and you can also help change lives at the same time, all for a one-time $25 fee. All the info is at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. All right. Thanks so much for joining us once again on The Bright Side. We're talking cortisol, the body stress hormone. We said you could do a home saliva test. I'm not a big believer in testing. I like our bodies to be the test. I'm not a big believer in diagnostics as far as the saliva test goes. It's not, it's not, a, bad, I, it's not a bad thing. It just doesn't matter, really. With the, if you have all the symptoms of elevated cortisol, but the saliva test says you're negative, who cares? And vice versa. It's really about how you feel. Yeah, you could get the saliva test, or you can go to the doctor and have a, have a cortisol test done. But if you can't sleep at night or you're tired and you can't sleep at night, you want to go to bed and you're kind of tired, but you're wired. If you're jittery, if you're anxious, if you have the symptoms of elevated cortisol, who cares what the test says? Cortisol is your body's, is known as your body's stress hormone, but it's more important to think of it, I think, as your body's stress management hormone. It is a functional hormone. It's made in uh, the adrenal glands. It's an adrenal gland hormone. It's also, by the way, made in, uh, well, it's made in your liver, and it's also made in body fat. And that's a very important idea that our body fat makes cortisol. Our body, it's a very important idea that our body fat makes hormones, which is why obesity is associated with disease. You can completely throw off your hormones the more body fat you're carrying. Not just cortisol, but particularly for our conversation, cortisol, the more body fat you're carrying, the more stress hormone your body's going to be making. So obesity can 
regulate cortisol production. Fatty liver disease can do it as well because cortisol is also made in, in the liver. And because a fatty liver will produce more cortisol just from the fat and from the liver. And it's also produced in the skin, and it's responsible for a lot of skin problems. In fact, I don't think I know of any skin problems that don't have some function of, ex uh, of either cortisol levels that are acutely high due to some stress, some uh, immediate physical stress on the skin. Nutritional deficiency stresses can also cause elevated cortisol issues in the skin. The body thinks it's, the skin thinks it's starving. So cortisol levels go up. There's a, this whole idea between starvation and famine and cortisol really, really plays a role. It's super duper important in how sick we are. Our body pretty much always thinks it's starving. We'll talk about that here in a second. But when the skin is uh, exposed to too much cortisol, if there's nutritional deficiencies in the skin, particularly essential fatty acid deficiencies or vitamin A deficiencies, cortisol will go up. And this can lead to all kinds of skin problems including acne and oily skin and so-called sensitive skin. As I've often said, skin should never be sensitive. It's not supposed to be sensitive. It doesn't make any sense for the skin to be sensitive. I was reading a, a, a presentation done by a dietitian yesterday, and she said, uh, she was talking about the genetic component of sensitive skin in this presentation. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? This idea of the genetic component is a dietitian, of course, so she could be forgiven for spouting out the mainstream nonsense about, uh, about how the body works, this genetic idea. You have sensitive skin. You've got a nutritional deficiency. You've got a digestive problem, and you've got a, a stress hormone problem, cortisol problem as well. And cortisol, remember, is made from cholesterol in the skin, too. That's another, another interesting point. And so... Uh, when your body's making lots of cortisol, when your skin is making lots of cortisol, guess what's going to have to happen? Your cholesterol is going to go up. <laughs> In fact, elevated cholesterol is almost like a, a direct result of too much cortisol secretion or the body over expressing cortisol, I should say. And of course, the thyroid is involved there as well because when the body is expressing or overexpressing cortisol, your thyroid slows down. You see, cortisol, elevated exposure to cortisol is a big problem. It's, that's why it's on the third point. That's why it's the third point on our triangle of, of disease. It's the jumping off point via the thyroid to everything. That should be the best news anybody who's sick ever heard. That should be the best news that anybody who's dealing with a chronic degenerative disease has ever heard. By the way, your doctor knows this. This is something your doctor knows, that elevated cortisol uh, is, behind, uh, is behind all of these, all of these health challenges. This is, not bio, uh, this, this is not biochemical gobbledygook. This is a, if you just look up cortisol in any medical textbook, or if you look up cortisol in any, anywhere, and the effects of cortisol, you're going to see a who's who list, a laundry list of everything that can go wrong in the body. From osteoporosis to infertility to insomnia to uh, depression, you name it. It is the key. Now, it's on the triangle. It's not the only point, but it's the jumping off point. You got to work on your blood sugar. You got to work on your digestive system. And oh, as it turns out, the triangle is actually a circle because... Because elevated cortisol will also make your digestive system messed up, which will mess up your blood sugar, which will cause more elevated cortisol, which will cause more digestive distress. It's really not even a triangle because everything's happening all at once. The whole thing is happening all at once. And this is the best news anybody who's sick has. Should, this should be the best news that anyone who's sick has ever heard. Because when you figure out how to lower your cortisol, everything will get better. The entire body gets better when you do these, the simple strategies that we talk about when we talk about lowering cortisol levels, reducing cortisol intake. And that includes, if you're on a statin drug, elevated blood cholesterol, which we will continue talking about when we come back. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more good health information right after this. Don't go away.
We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open. 844-236-6010. If you're dealing with a health challenge, we can help you. If you have questions about nutrition or supplementation, we can help you. If you have questions or concerns or comments or success stories, we can help you. 844-236-6010 about the longevity products, about health in general, about skin health, or about our true treatment products. 844-236-6010. And we'll get your calls here momentarily. Longevity products, of course, are all available at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and the truth treatment products are available at truthtreatments.com, our truth transdermal C serum, truth transdermal C balm, truth retinol, 5% gel, and our truth omega-6 healing cream, all made without preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, silicon oil, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want ever in any of our truth treatment products. Everything is 100, all the ingredients are 100% active and functional. They are all there for you. They're all there for your skin. They're not there for me and my bottom line. They're there for you and your skin. Every ingredient is active and functional, and it's doing something healthy and positive and beneficial for your skin. Check all our Truth Treatment products out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so if you got a health problem that's long-term and chronic and isn't going away, you can bet your bottom dollar, you can rest assured that there is a cortisol issue underneath. Now, cortisol itself, you can do a lot of things just by strategies for lowering cortisol. There's lots to do, but you also want to make sure you're taking care of your blood sugar system and your digestive system because those are the first two points in the triangle of disease. And it's really, and it's, it's not like, I don't want people to think it's like three different things. They're all basically one kind of thing thing that you got to do. You got to do them all together. So I should say the circle of disease, but they are somewhat distinct, these points. So I will continue to call it the triangle of disease, but it's all happening all at once, basically. And this is this uh, cortisol issue. Check this out. This is so important. This triangle of disease via the cortisol issue is behind hypothyroidism. You'll always find this underneath hypothyroidism, a whacked out digestive system, a blood sugar system, a dysglycemic blood sugar system, that means messed up, and cortisol. And hypothyroidism is an epidemic, and there's no synthroid on planet Earth that's going to help. Because the problem isn't about the thyroid hormone. It's about the hypothyroidism, which is caused by messed up digestion. By the way, if you're saying Hashi, if you've got Hashimoto's, that's messed up digestion too. Blood sugar problems. And cortisol issues. And I said before we went to break that cortisol issues are going to make your cholesterol go up. Well, anybody who knows anything about biochemistry, I'm not talking about lay people, but people who study biochemistry or medical people, know that hypothyroidism is like a synonym for too much cortisol, for elevated cortisol. In fact, it would not be wrong to say that high levels of blood cholesterol are about hypothyroidism or hypothyroidism and too much cholesterol or too much cortisol, I'm sorry. It's way more about hypothyroidism than it is about eating eggs and throwing out the yolks or uh, uh, taking a statin drug. Oh, my God. That is the craziest. You guys, it is the craziest idea to take a statin drug to lower your cortisol. I mean, I know I, we've, I've said it for years. I've said it for years about you know ripping on statin drugs, but... I, it is just biochemical insanity to do it. It's more than just, oh, it'll give you, uh, you cause Alzheimer's or it'll give you muscle problems. It, you know, to hear those, those, these kinds of side effects makes it sound like it's logical and it just causes a little bit of a problem. You shouldn't take them. I'm telling you, it's not logical. It makes bio, no biochemical sense to try to force compel the body to lower cholesterol when your hypothyroid and your cortisol is jacked up and your blood sugar is messed up and your digestive system is tweaked. Then there's this, uh, the relationship between cortisol and youth and beauty and fertility. When the body's making lots of cortisol from cholesterol, when the cholesterol is being converted into cortisol, it's not making the good stuff. The good stuff also comes from cholesterol. Cholesterol is a raw material for all the steroid hormones. The good stuff, the the fertility hormones, the youth hormones, the beauty hormones, the estrogen, the testosterone, the hormones of of vigor and vitality and fertility and and 
plump cheeks and rosy cheeks and no wrinkles, they all come from cholesterol too. So number one, you take a statin drug, you suppress those. Number two, you're making too much cortisol, you suppress those. Between statin drugs and cortisol, you get wrinkly and old and pruney and less able to deal with life. Between lowering your cholesterol artificially with a statin drug and long-term exposure to chronic cholesterol or chronic cortisol from messed up digestion and blood sugar issues. These are all beauty. I'm in the beauty business. You know, I've been doing skin health products now for 35 years. I can't tell you how many people I talk to on a daily basis that want to want their um, uh, want to have a wrinkle cream or want to know what kind of cream they should use for their wrinkles or for their skin problems. Listen, if your cortisol's jacked up, you're going to be aging. Your skin's going to be aging. You're going to be more wrinkly. And yeah, you could use our Truth Retinol 5% gel. You can use our Truth Transdermal C Serum, and you'll mitigate some of the effects, and you may stave off some of the effects. In fact, you may actually look pretty good. But ultimately, if you're, law, if you're chronically, exposed, chronically exposed to excess cortisol, for multiple reasons, you're going to be aging more rapidly and thinning. Your body will be thinning more rapidly as well. And this is especially problematic, FYI, for menopausal women or perimenopausal women who are already experiencing a drop in their estrogen because excessive cortisol secretion is going to further decrease their estrogen. Remember, your cholesterol is a raw material. It's a basic building block for all these things. The more cortisol you're making, the less estrogen you're making. And if you're in menopause or perimenopause, it becomes more dramatic. That's what a hot flash is, by the way. A hot flash is a classic sign of a jacked up adrenal stress system, usually following sugar and sometimes following too much digestion or a messed up digestion, I should say. And I'm not even going to get into the fact that the, the digestive system is responsible for clearing out estrogen. And so uh, estrogen metabolites, estrogen breakdown products. So when you're, you see how, all, you know, all the connections, all the interconnections are really mind-blowing. But to simplify, digestion, blood sugar, cortisol. That's all you got to know. Three things. If you don't try, and not only that, not only is all you have to know three things, as fascinating as all of these interactions are and how everything is connected, and, and I, I, don't know, I hope you find it fascinating. I find it fascinating. If you're sick, all you need to know is those three points. The digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the adrenal, uh, the adrenal glands. Or if you like, the adrenal thyroid complex. That's all you got to know. And if your doctor, if you're trying to treat or your doctor's trying to treat you, uh, your health challenge, your cardiovascular disease, your cancer, your, your, your psoriasis, uh, dementia, autoimmunity, whatever, without addressing those three levels, you are spitting into the wind useless. And this is in a nutshell is the uh, cause of the failure the utter and complete failure of the modern medical model for dealing with chronic long-term degenerative disease. And they admit it, too. They will tell you there's no cure for your chronic degenerative disease. I'm telling you there's no cure. There's a reversal. The triangle. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you have a health challenge you want, to deal with, you want help dealing with, your, your medical professional isn't helping you, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. Hi, pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010. I'm reading this uh, New Scientist, one of my favorite magazines. It's called New Scientist. And there's a book they're advertising called How to Be Human. And they give you a few little tips here, or a few little uh, uh, factoids about how to be human, or little factoids about being human. One is uh, here, humanity will need the equivalent of two Earths to support itself by 2030. I'm not sure I agree with that. You know, we have this thing called the ocean. If we could figure out how to, how to work with the ocean a little bit more effectively, we could be more effective with uh, utilizing our, the resources we have here on this earth. People lying down solve anagrams in 10% less time than people standing up. Your brain works better when you're lying down than when you're standing up, apparently. That has to do with cortisol, probably. You're relaxing. About six in a hundred uh, babies, mostly boys, are born with an extra nipple. How do you like that? Six percent of boys are born with an extra nipple. I didn't know that. 
And then this kind of cracked me up here when I was, before we were, going to commer we were just coming out of the commercial, I was reading this. 60% of us experience inner speech where every, everyday thoughts take, take a back and forth conversational style. I thought I was the only person. 60% of us have voices in our heads that converse with each other. Yeah, it's one thing to have a voice in your head, but they converse with each other. And uh, then we spend 50% of our lives daydreaming. That was kind of interesting, too. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I have a letter here that I, I, I just got this morning, and, and it, it highlights, you know, we get, I probably get, I don't know, 500 letters a month, 600 letters a month. There's no way I can respond to everybody. Um, but they're all kind of the same idea. Not, not all, but many of them are the same idea. The body is just completely falling apart, and it's so heartbreaking and so tragic. I got this letter this morning got a letter this morning, and I thought I'd read it just real. I can't read the whole thing to you, but it's just so tragic. And I, I want you to see how easy it is to not only address these problems, but to understand how these problems happen. So this guy writes to me today, I first started using liquid mineral products in 2014. Then in tw uh, May 2016, I got serious about longevity products, and my order started averaging $175 a month. I'm currently, uh, let's see, he says he's currently listening to George Norrie and Doc. They were on last night. Uh, talking about toenail fungus, Doc talks about colloidal silver for toenail fungus. So here's what this guy says he's got in addition to his toenail fungus. He, is a, he says, additionally, I am a Vietnam vet, 70% disability, diagnosed with PTSD, high blood pressure, kidney problems, and the VA is prescribing 13 medications daily. 13! We don't even know what one does. We don't even know the side effect profile of one drug. <laughs> he's on 13 of them. Levothyroxin for his thyroid, finasteride and, and tam, tamsulosin, HCL, for stroke prevention, tramadol for sleeping aid, meloxicam for a baker cyst, uh, metoprolol, nasty drug for his blood pressure, and on and on it goes. He's 74. Now his, he says his blood pressure is under control. He exercises three times weekly. I'm surprised this guy can even walk. He's eliminated gluten, soft drinks, all oils, Irish butter for cooking, and eats three to five eggs per day. And he want, he's worried about his toenail fungus. Now, this is how we think. And it's not our faults because we don't know. We're taught this. We're taught you've got toenail fungus. You go to the toenail fungus doctor. You've got blood pressure problems. You go to a blood, blood pressure doctor. You've got thyroid problems. You go to the thyroid doctor. You take a thyroid medicine. You take a blood pressure medicine. You take toenail fungus medicine. You take a medicine for this and a medicine for that. And nobody gets better. <laughs> this is craziness. It's utter craziness. This is a guy that needs to go back to the triangle today. And here's the good news. When he does, he's going to feel better immediately. Now, it's going to take him, he's 74, and he, had, he didn't get into this pickle overnight. And he's not going to get out of this pickle completely overnight either. But you can begin the healing process right away without a doctor by going back to those three major fundamental points. Relax the body, work on your blood sugar, and address digestive health. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Stephanie in Ohio. Good morning, Stephanie. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. Hey, what's um, up? I have a husband. He's 34 and hey. has superventricular tachycardia where he oh. has... Oh, my goodness. How did you even say that? You must have said it a lot because that just kind of rolled off your tongue. <laughs> superventricular... Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Superventricular tachycardia. Has... Yes, and he also has um, sleep apnea and okay. uses a CPAP at okay. night. Um, and he's 34? Often, Is he overweight? Not overweight at all. He's always okay. been slim. Okay. Well, we this are is... on the healthy body start pack and off the bad food for about okay. a year well, now. You're, you're on the right track, but you're missing some stuff. First of all, yeah. he's got to have more than sleep apnea and supraventricular tachycardia. By the way, superventricular means the ventricles are above the ventricles. Tachycardia means tachy, fast, cardia, heart rate, or heart. His, yeah. heart's beating, his heart's beating too fast, period. It doesn't matter where it is. Yeah. You don't need to know any of that other stuff, but his heart's beating too fast. Why would your heart beat too fast? Let me ask something, Stephanie. Have you ever experienced, like, you know, you go to the movies in a scary movie or somebody jumps out of it? Have you ever experienced your heart beating too fast? Yeah. Okay. What, what is it usually in response to? Or, Bingo. Yeah, fear, no. Yeah. yeah, exactly. His body's in fear. His body's in stress. Now, I'm not, it's not only psychological, although that could play a role for sure. 
you want to think physiological. The sleep apnea also represents a sign of, of distress, but it could also be a cause of it. But there's got to be underlying issues, and the underlying issues, it would be interesting for you to find them, but if you don't want to find them, just work on the blood sugar system and the digestive system and calm the body down. That's all you got to do. Now, I'd be curious to know what other symptoms he has because he's got to have something else. High blood pressure? No. Digestive issues? Belly aches? Constipation? Um. He has to. You got to find. Yeah. One thing that I noticed, wait, he. So I try to get him to take the EFAs, and yeah. whenever he does take them, he it, bloats. Uh, Gat repeats gets, on him. Yeah, he burps and oh, there you go. Um, does not have regular bowel movement. There you go. Bingo. Right there. He's got malabsorption of fats. Now malabsorption of fats can lead to all kinds of problems. It can lead to, or it can be the cause of. All, it can be caused by all kinds of problems. Usually, it has to do with the liver and the gallbladder, though. And that's what I'm thinking you're going to you don't want to work on. You don't, can't work on the liver and gallbladder directly, but you can work on it through foods so, and the digestive system. So what you want to do is get him on a digestive protocol quickly. I wouldn't mess around. Okay. He's 34. He's way too young for this. So get him on, yeah. uh, have him using the ultimate enzymes right away. Have him using probiotics. Do you know if he was born cesarean or breastfed or any of that stuff? You probably don't know that. Uh, vaginal, but he wasn't really breastfed. He wasn't breastfed. Okay, well, there you go. Now, did he have problems as a kid? Any health problems as a kid? He, it couldn't have just happened. He had a hernia surgery when he was, like, two years old, had a hernia. Okay. All right, so he was the breakdown process at two years old? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. So work, he was breaking down. He's been breaking down for a while. Now, you might want to find other symptoms, but it doesn't even matter. Work on the digestive system. Get him on a great probiotic supplement. Fat malabsorption. Uh, focus on fat absorption. So in addition to probiotics and the ultimate enzymes, you might want to throw in some lecithin with all his meals, apple cider vinegar with all his meals. I wouldn't hurt you to start okay. working on the uh, blood sugar system. He's, the, you can be really, really skinny preceding uh, really obese or, or getting bigger with diabetes. So it's not unusual for when the insulin becomes really sensitive for him to be skinny. And that's usually pre-diabetes. So he's on the, it sounds like he's on the road to that. So you might want to work on blood sugar. If he's not exercising, have him do a little exercise. Hang on, we'll finish up when we come back, okay? Don't go away, Stephanie. I'm Farm Spenny, 442366010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. Talking to Stephanie in Ohio. Sorry about that. And Stephanie, you there? Yeah. Okay. So you want to focus back on the triangle, work on the digestive system. You want, might want to consider doing a fast for a couple days or a Swero V cleanse. Swero V is a great longevity product made with fermented whey and electrolytes. It makes it easier to go into a food elimination, the elimination diet. The purpose of the fast is a couple of things. First of all, it calms the body down. Uh, you know, food in general represents a duress on the body. Did you know any food, Stephanie, even lettuce can represent a duress on the body? When food enters yeah. into, the, into the body, it's kind of like an emergency. And if you're already predisposed that way, uh, it could be an issue. So laying off, laying off food is just a good idea for everybody. But I would lay off food in, in your case or in your husband's case so he can do the second, ste the second step of the pro protocol or program, and that is the elimination diet and uh, the food diary and the elimination diet where you write everything down in a book, how you eat, and then notice what foods cause what kind of problems and start eliminating foods. Then you're going to want to stabilize um, the blood. Go ahead. I was just going to say, um, I have done that for myself, and I um, found that I had a dairy intolerance. and Which, which you would not know have known which, otherwise, which you would not have known otherwise, right, correct? Right, right. We have a small homestead here where we raise our own cows, and we have dairy cows and chickens and pigs. And so I, of course, just naturally would drink milk and raw milk even uh, right. all the time. But I did the Swero V and introduced, uh, just drank my daily cup of raw milk and noticed uh, a lot of mucus and phlegm. And Ex anytime I try to do dairy, I have this issue. Um, there you go. I'm and trying he to get my husband to do the fast. Well, you, you know, I, I'm not. I'm, a, I'm only going to tell you what, give you some ideas. You, it's, that's between you and yeah. your husband, and you know how you handle it. And, <laughs> and that's not, none of my business. So, uh, you just you know, these are the things you want to do. The blood, the blood sugar system, more protein, uh, although don't overdo the protein because protein itself can get turned into sugar. And then uh, the go, go ketogenic, more fat, 
uh, the ketogenic diet, but, uh, eggs, avocados, fish, that kind of thing. Uh, you obviously want to be okay. careful about dairy. He may have a problem with eggs, so you want to watch out for that as well. Get on the entire Healthy Start Pack. You may want to consider getting him a little pregnenolone, uh, P-R-E-G-N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E, pregnenolone, uh, 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams. Uh, does he have insomnia? or ins- uh, Does he get up in the middle of the night? He mo- probably gets up in the middle of the night, but does he have problems sleeping or falling asleep? Uh, no. No, he falls asleep okay? He might he might toss and turn, but he falls asleep very easily. See, give him a give him a see if the pregnenolone makes a difference. Although it doesn't sound like it'll make a bit too big a difference. A couple of real quick things for the respiratory tract: NAC, NAC, maybe four hundred milligrams okay. a day. Vitamin E, maybe four hundred IU a day. And then in a, in addition to the uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which has vitamin C, you might want to throw in another half gram to a gram of vitamin C. And then uh, in addition to the m- m- magnesium that you get in the Beyond Osteo FX, you might want to throw in a little bit extra magnesium glycinate, G-L-Y-C-I-N-A-T-E. And that, those may all help with the sleep apnea and they'll also help with the blood sugar too. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much okay. for your call, Stephanie. Hope we helped you out. Have a beautiful day on the farm. And let's go to Camille in Washington. Welcome to the Bright Side, Camille. Hi. Hey. Yeah. Camille, I need... You're way off in the distance, Camille. Way, way yeah. off. Where are oh, you? I don't can you hear me. Barely. I'm here. Can you hear me? Barely, barely. Speak up really loud. Oh, I'm here. I'm okay, here. Well, go ahead. Speak up really loud. Um, I've been doing the protocol for type two diabetes, and I can't get my numbers down. They're they're raising instead of lowering. How long has it been? Um, it's been thirty days. Okay. Well, you're going to want to listen to the bright side tomorrow because we're going to address just that. Okay. okay, but since since you asked a little bit early, when you have an issue with blood sugar that is not resolving as it should, when you're on the healthy start pack, you have two other things you have to do, or on the you know the blood sugar pack, you have a couple other things you have to do. Now I assume you're doing the food stuff, right? Yeah. You're, you're laying off problem foods. Okay. Are you are you aware that protein can raise your blood sugar? No. <laughs> okay, that's step number one. Most people don't know that. So you have to be very careful with the amount of protein you eat. If you're eating too much protein, and by too much I mean more than your body needs. If you're eating more protein than your body needs, it can raise your blood sugar. So if you're working out, if you're an athlete, if you're recovering from something, you know, you need more protein, that's one thing. But if you're like most of us, and you have a sedentary lifestyle, and you're eating lots of paleo stuff, you know, you're going crazy on the protein, the Atkins thing, it can easily keep your blood sugar up. Okay? With me? Okay. All right, yep. that's number one. That's the one thing that people, that's the first thing people don't, re, don't, don't take into account when they need to lower their blood sugar, and it can lead to lots of disappointment as, uh, as you're experiencing, Camille. The second thing is stress hormone. If you have elevated stress hormone following either psychological, mental, emotional issues, inflammatory issues in the body, digestive issues, we're going to talk about all this tomorrow, by the way, your cortisol, you will have a hard time lowering your blood sugar. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, so this is for everybody. It's not uncommon what you're talking about. So work on the protein, work on the digestive system, make sure if there's any kind of inflammatory issues going on in your body, and by that I mean things like an autoimmune problem or arthritis or some other health challenge that you may be dealing with, or psychological or you know, psychological stress pl- plays a part in elevating cortisol too. You've got to work there. You may want to consider direct cortisol-lowering strategies in addition to digestion and blood sugar using things like pregnenolone, as I was just talking about, progesterone cream, as, was, as uh, I will be talking about, uh, and vitamin E and vitamin A. Both kind of can help. All of those can kind of have a balancing effect on excessive cortisol secretion. Making sure you're practicing your deep SDR breathing, slow, deep, rhythmic breathing, which can lower your cortisol. And then also um, uh, any kind of relax, uh, mental relaxation kinds of things, mental, emotional kinds of relaxation strategies, visualization, meditation, just lightening up, those kinds of, you know, I don't want to hit those too hard, but I don't want to dismiss them either because they do play a role. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Okay, I've good luck with everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, I, I've been taking the, um, the Rev for losing weight. Yes. And it's not working either. Well, it's all the same thing, my dear. So we're gonna talk, and by the way, we're going to talk about that tomorrow too as well, the relationship between cortisol and obesity. If you're trying to lose weight. So you're like, you should have called, to, you, should, you should just wait till tomorrow. Definitely listen tomorrow because we're going to address both of those. Okay. 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 Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Camille. Thank you. Right. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Let's go to Ka- uh, KO, I think. 
Is that how you say it? K.O. in yes, Washington. Yes, hello. Did I say that right? K.O.? Yeah, perfect. Good morning, K.O. I like that. Pretty name. What's going on, K.O.? Thank you. So um, I was going to say um, I think you're amazing. So I oh, worked okay. in the skincare retail business, and I used to be a pharmacy tech. So everything you say makes sense. Isn't it? Um, and some, I'm glad. Yeah, thank you. for. Thank you. I appreciate does. that. That that means a lot so, to me. Um, so you're in the skincare business, yeah. you said? Yes, I, I was. I just quit my job. What, uh, okay, what did you do? Sephora. Oh, okay. Um, I was, yeah, I did makeup, and I, I was, um, they loved me in skincare. That's where I was mostly at. Um, but my problem is that, um, so I, I have acne-prone skin, very dehydrated, clock How old are you? How old are you? 32. You got an adrenal problem. I, I, you don't need to say, yeah. say no more. When you have L, when you have oily and dry skin at the same time, you, you probably have some weight mm-hmm. issues. With all, respectfully, I don't mean to be mean, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which, which I'm now, working on too. Well, but, well, but here's so. the thing: How did I know that? I'm not psychic, Ben. I'm pharmacist, Ben. How did I know that? Yeah. Right. Because it's part of the yeah. same picture. It's all the same thing. Mm-hmm. You're dealing with an elevated pro, elevate. You're dealing with an adrenal issue and hypothyroidism, and it's probably mm-hmm. following other things. So this is not a skin problem. Your your oily skin is a sign of the stress response. Your elevated pores are secondary to the oily skin, or in, uh, large pores. Here's the thing about pores. Pores only look larger. They're always the same size. But the more oil yeah. you're secreting, the more, the more uh, larger they're going to appear. So to shrink your pores, you want to keep that oil from being secreted. I wish I had more time because this is a very fascinating subject. Get on vitamin B5, panathenic acid. Yeah. Take maybe four grams a day. That's a lot. Divide the doses up. Uh, make sure you do all your B vitamins with the B5. You never want to take one B vitamin without the, all the other ones. Uh, e- uh, extra vitamin C, also very important for the adrenal glands. Get on zinc, 50 milligrams a day. You might want to try our blemish repair complex, which has a lot of these nutrients in it, and you can get that at truthtreatments.com. Uh, your adrenals, uh, the elevated stress hormone and adrenal, jacked up adrenals, may be following blood sugar problems. I would be surprised if they weren't. So you might want to work on blood yeah. sugar. There's a very interesting relationship between insulin and, and oily skin. Uh, and, and my just, main thing was, if, if, if I could say, is um, that I want to focus on is, is my um, sebaceous hyperplasmia. I, it's all I part of the same picture. Had in the last few years. It's right? the same okay. thing. You're secreting too Sebaceous hyperplasia means your sebaceous glands are getting bigger and growing too fast. The cells in there. So that's, that's the sebum thing. That's too much adrenal activity. Calm the body down, young lady. You're too young to be having all this stuff. Okay, exactly. Yes, yeah, so chill out. You know? Like the, yeah, because uh, I'm thinking about going the cosmetic route and burning the moss, freezing the moss, and I'm like, no, and then when no. I found you, I was like, wait, there has to do you, be completely something else. Do now. you want to call tomorrow? If you call tomorrow, I can give you some more help because we're out of time. Oh, yes, for so, sure. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Call back tomorrow. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Okay, thank All you right, so take much. Care. All right, have a great Bye. day. That was Cal in Washington. And that is, that's one of the, the biggest ideas in skincare is that we're, when you have a skin problem, it's not a skin problem. Rarely is it, is it a skin problem. Anyway, we'll continue this discussion tomorrow on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.